missionaries, and we believe that God called us to be the lights of the world, to, be, to make a difference in this ever-changing world, to be a good example, and to be a good influence to those people around us. But you know what? Satan doesn't like it. Nah, -uh. He will do everything, I mean everything, to just stop us from igniting our lights and shine for Jesus. But remember this, God has promised us that if we have him in our lives, we will have the victory. Man, the victory! Anyway, the Bible tells us that we should keep igniting our lights and shine for Jesus. It says there, let your light shine before men, that they will see the good deeds and glorify your Father. So my dear friends, brothers and sisters, let's welcome the missionaries, God's missionaries as they share how they ignite their lights and shine for Jesus at work, at church, and at home. Piggy! Yes, boss! <laughs> There's this unnamed character wanting to shine the light. I can't even mention his name. What's his name? Jesus! Ah, I can't stand him. I can't stand him shining the light. Go out there and extinguish the light before they shine. Will do, boss. Go! <laughs> it's a good day. I think I need a vacation. <clears throat> Nevia? Yes, boss. Have you finished our projects? Well, some of them, boss. <laughs> oh, we had to finish that on Monday. So, well, boss, you gave me 100 projects oh. this month. And I've tried, been trying to work on them uh, to finish as much as I could. So, well, what did you finish? <laughs> well, I finished three or four of them out of the 100. Three or four? You lazy. What will you do with that? Well, I have a task. So you, she's a good for nothing person who mooches off you by doing nothing. And you give her money. Why should you? Fire her. She's lazy and you need a better person than her. Just fire her. Boss, I heard you're getting mad at Nelia, and uh, I believe she doesn't deserve to be to be harassed like that because um, she's been working hard lately just to finish the project on time, and I believe that she is very um, not only smart but hardworking as well. So, and she's been sick lately because of too much work that you're giving her. So, I will just help her to finish the project that you want her to finish by Monday. Are you sure? We yes, I will have the board on Monday. Yes. yes, so that I believe that she's a good employee. So just for you not to get mad at her anymore, mm -hmm. I will help her. Okay. 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 So be happy now. Okay. Good. Hey, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 It was a simple job. I know, but... You could not even get her to fire her. But then... Uh, oh. Just give her one more chance, but please. <laughs> I'm going to throw you to purgatory. Boss? There is no such thing as called as purgatory. All right, well, it's a lake of fire. Whatever. <laughs> no, no. Please, no. Give me one more chance, but please. please. All right. One more chance. Just one. A you woman? better make me proud this time. A woman is that, Good evening, everybody. Well, thank you for making it to our Wednesday prayer meeting. First off, I would like to have a second prayer <clears throat> for our good friend, Jasmine. Who's here to Wait, my heart. Jasmine? Yes. You didn't hear? She's pregnant. What? Whoa! What? 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's, yeah. On, she's on TV. It's what? What? 16 and pregnant. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's the father? I don't know. What? I thought she was I thought she did. Like no, I never what? liked her. What? Yeah. Good job, y'all. 
This is the church. You know, you're, this is a free country. Y'all have freedom of speech. So whatever you want to talk about, you should talk about. It's all public already. Why not talk about it now? Kids, kids, children, children. We are on the prayer meeting. There's a perfect time and place to talk about issues like this. Not here in the church. Not in the prayer meeting.
Jalan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our youth group. They're going to do a dance interpretation of the song I Saw the Lord. I Saw the Light. Sorry. In this dance, you will see how light overcomes darkness all the time when we let it shine through our lives. <laughs> Good job. 